This is the Army Today 2008 Year in Review. Can the Army prep school ensure that high school dropouts are fit to fight? Gail McCabe takes us to Fort Jackson where recruits are hitting the books. Don't blow this test. First off. Sergeant Bobby Tucker wasn't sure about the Army Preparatory School. He thought it could be a mistake. A 19 year Army veteran, Tucker says he's taken a closer look and he's changed his mind. Everybody's first impression is Army's lowering its standards. And then after you get smart on it, uh, we actually raise the standard. Standards is what the Army Prep School is all about educational standards. I'm taking my test tomorrow. Jerry Dean McGee dropped out of high school because he was bored. Now the 23-year-old Mississippi native dreams of being a Black Hawk mechanic. His first step in accomplishing his vision is getting his General Educational Development, or GED. A little challenging. I've been out of school for a while. As recruits, they are physically, medically, and morally sound, but they are all dropouts, and they all want to be soldiers. We're giving them an opportunity. If they are unable to be taught here in this environment, then they are chaptered out of the Army and they will not join the Army. GED testing covers five basic areas, from reading and writing to math and science. To get here, they had to score in the top 50% on the Army's initial aptitude test. And while it's still a pilot program, some 3,000 new soldiers are expected to apply themselves at the Army's preparatory school this year. The Army and my career will take care of it. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television. For the latest military news and information, go online at Army.mil.